why haven't men across the ages learned to leave women faith folk alone? You would think they'd learn by now. Hello beautiful people! Hi, my name is Mia and this is My Virtual Vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it. And besides that, we're also huge fucking nerds for a lot of things, but the one that I want to talk about in this series is mythology and folklore. So this is a new series on my channel called Makeup Mythology Mondays, where I talk about one figure in mythology or a class of figures or gods or whatever have you that I find fascinating and interesting and also do a look based on it. Either more literal or, you know, based on what I associate that thing with. Since I'm half Romanian, half Italian, I figured what best way to start this series off than with Romanian mythology. In this first video, I want to talk about the Romanian Yele, which are, depending who you ask, either cursed women, fey folk, or spirits of the air. More or less indifferent to people, unless offended, and it doesn't take a lot to offend them. Very similar to Greek naiads, dryads, and other such spirits. And honestly, this archetype of the fey women dancing seems to be quite prevalent in Europe. But anyway, I won't get into detail. I'm reserving that for the actual look. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look and hearing about a Romanian yelet, then continue the rest of the video. Okay guys, let's get started with the look. Let's take the glasses off, which means we are in business. And let me tell you a bit about the elusive and dangerous seductive Yele. I'm first going to use the Deathly Pallor Contour from Notoriously Morbid. And I'm going to start working on my eyes because this will be the focus of our look. And I'm going to take a very fluffy blending brush and start doing some crease and outer corner work. So what are the yellow? Well, it depends on who you ask, really. Some folklorists classify them as a type of fey folk. Uh, so fairies in essence while others say they are quite similar to Greek naiads and dryads. So supernatural spirits of the elements, in this case, air. Other variants of their story describe them as cursed women. So women that did something forbidden or to whom a great injustice happened and now they are cursed to roam the land. And I feel that there is a very interesting discussion to be had about how these types of stories tell women how to behave and the repercussions for misbehaving or doing something that your husband, father, male caretaker for forbid you from doing. But anyway, the yele are not a tale about female obedience or disobedience. These are just different regional variants of the story. I'm going to take a flat brush and add the same shade to my lower lash line. I honestly don't get how anyone could use this as a contour because this is very, very purple. <laughs> but yele are not evil per se. They have their own morality, so to say. They usually leave mortals alone unless you happen to offend them. And just like other fae folk, it really doesn't take much to offend them. If you watch them dance, uh, if you yell after them, you are more or less fucked. I am going to continue with the Sleek Dream A Little Dream palette and particularly these two shades over here. So this blue and this purple mixed and we'll see where we put them. So the yellow usually are not seen during daytime 
You mostly see them at night, especially on moonlit nights, because as we all know, in folklore and mythology, the moon is a very important revelator. Lots of things happen under a full moon, from werewolves to magical places appearing to the fey folk being quite active and mischievous as they would. So they'll come out at night to dance and they usually dance in circles which results in the earth being scorched in a fairy circle after they're done. That or the grass will grow darker or even red as well as various types of mushrooms just being at their happiest growing where the yellow's feet landed. Going in with the notoriously morbid Simple Man pigment. This time I'll have to add a glitter glue. Most of their victims are men, which I think shows a lot about how men are afraid of willful women or independent women or women looking spirits or women, period. God knows. Or maybe it's the fact that in those times when those stories were created, not a lot of women, you know, walked around the woods and just trapped sails around the countryside like the men did. So you could interpret it twofold. Either their victims were men because there is some underlying message about just leaving women the fuck alone, or leaving strange women the fuck alone, or just due to the fact that not a lot of women got very far away from their homes due to, you know, medieval type lifestyles. And well, what happened when an unlucky man came across a group of Yele? Well, if he saw them dance, he'd lose his mind, as one would when gazing upon the fey folk if he tried to scream after them and yell their name and get their attention then he would be struck mute so he wouldn't be able to talk anymore of course that varies region by region but the thing that most of them have in common is that if you come across a crowd of yellow and you are a man you really won't be the same afterwards if you manage to escape. Big if you manage to escape. This is way more blue than I thought it would be. It looks more purple with glittery specks in the pan. Come on, focus. But when I apply it, it looks really blue. Going to take this revolution um, conceal and correct in C0 and cut my crease. So let's say you are a dumb guy and you want to bother the pretty dancing fey folk. Well, one or two things happen. They either start dancing with you and the more you dance, the, ma the more mad you get or they start dancing around you, case in which you become mad, you lose all of your senses and then eventually disappear into the ether. But where we all wish bothersome men would disappear, but they don't. In a sense, I feel that Yele are very similar to Sirens, because either their dance or their song could make you mad. Uh, they, they were said to have very entrancing voices, a very, a very beautiful singing, and that would be what would attract you if you were weak-willed towards them, which in turn would end up offending them. So, yeah, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Going to grab the Notoriously Morbid Sealy Court Fight for Beauty pigment, which is a very apt name. Oh, this is so beautiful and iridescent. My heart. Oh, my heart. 
Uh, I'll need to blend somehow the two because you can see the sharp edge where I cut the crease. Anyhow, a different variant of the story from the Rakwaika forest is that once upon a time the Yele came across an orphaned boy lost in the forest and they adopted him and made him their brother and after he died they missed him so much that they sought to replace him and well they started kidnapping children lost in the forest as the fey folk do because they honestly don't have the same concept of morality or don't steal people's kids like people do I'm going to grab my dream a little dream palette again and this time using which shade this shade over here right in the middle which would be a way to explain you know sudden disappearances in the community children dying suddenly or to prevent your children from wandering off in the woods, you would tell them to stay close so the yellow don't steal them. Taking a, again that dark blue and going on my lower lash line with it. Another thing about the yellow is that, well, dancing takes a toll on you, so they would drink a lot. And if you drink after, drink the water from where uh, Yala drank it, then you would also go mad or you would become disfigured. So that in turn went towards a habit of covering up your water sources, your jars, your mugs, your fountains, which I guess is a very clever way of explaining a very hygienic habit and that is to not let your water sources be at the mercy of disease carrying animals, of insects that could get there and get drowned, of things that could fall in it. So a very folk story way to instill some healthy habits in the community. So how could you protect yourself from Yale? Well, mostly by staying out of their way, not going out at night, or if you were a man, you would put some garlic or basil or um, wormwood on your person to stave them away. I'm going to take a bit of this shade and use it as a highlight. For blush I'm going to use something very subtle and it is the Benefit Dandelion. It's just a flush, it doesn't really show up as much and it won't be overpowering. You know, I think the story of Yele tells us a lot about male desire because they're always interpreted as very enticing. Young women they dance either in very little clothing, vaporous, transparent dresses, or they dance completely naked. Their dance and song is enticing. They're attractive, they're alluring. And if you get into their clutches, when honestly you weren't supposed to, you would go mad, much like a lot of men went mad trying to chase after women they weren't supposed to. I'm going to use Colourpop Flexitarian, which was a gift from my lovely friend Maddie. I got to meet her in person when she came to Romania with her boyfriend and it was so, so much fun. And it's really a pretty highlight. I'm really grateful to her for giving it to me. Back to Yele. There is this danger mixed with desire and maybe it also tells a bit about female temper and how well if you offend a woman you are fucked dear sir I mean I'm no mythologist and this may be just conjuncture and what I read into it because of the current climate and current discourse regarding female male dynamics. Maybe if you ask me in 10 years time what I think of Yele and what the story of Yele tells us, I'll have a different answer. I don't know. 
Time for lip products. I'm using the incredible in a dream world lip gloss which was gifted to me by my other good friend Mariam and all of the notoriously morbid that you saw in this video was also gifted by her. I am going to leave her channel link down below because she's lovely and she deserves it. For mascara I'm going to use the Maybelline Snap Mascara because it's quick and easy to take off after filming. <laughs> Another interesting thing is that you find a lot of similar stories throughout Eastern Europe and Central, a bit Southern with the Greeks, but basically stories about female elemental spirits where for example the naiads i believe the greek naiads were water based spirits the dryads were earth then you've got the samodivas in bulgaria which if i recall correctly are fire and air but i stand corrected i honestly don't remember 100 percent, so i may be wrong then there is our yele which are air based You've got then the northern, more elfin type of fae folk. And don't even get me started on the fae folk of the British and the Irish because those, those would need a slew, a series of videos just for them. Talking about Yele, I feel that I, uh, there is a lot more to say about the topic. But, well, we can't have this video be a hundred years long, unfortunately, so we'll make do. <laughs> we'll make do with the info that we have for now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you have enjoyed this video. I really want to make this into a series and explore different myths and folklores and legends around the world, combining my love for painting my face with my huge nerdery i hope you guys enjoyed this yellow inspired look thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful evening a morning second breakfast third lunch whatever it is where you're from bye